Gang, let's talk about what's going on in Canada. Should we talk about what's going on in Canada politically? Because we've got a question already asked. Uh, either one person or two people have asked it uh, about what's going on in Canada. Uh, what's the topic today? It's a uh, lot's going on. Uh, Remy, the topic is anything uh, we want. Uh, it's an open discussion and one of the first things people are asking is um, what's going on in Canada um, as far as Canada's concerned Canada's having a serious um, Canada got hijacked by the World Economic Forum and the woke agenda and what they've done is slowly not even slowly during the Trudeau, Trudeau regime right and one thing you have to appreciate is the only reason the Trudeau and the Trudeau regime got in was because Harper and the conservatives were really bad they did some crazy ass shit right and pissed people off pissed people off right so people brought in this clown world economic forum clown Trudeau right pretty face pretty face little boxer dude right he's, he's from fed with a golden spoon his his past is sketchy as fuck right when he was a teacher he got sued he got fired he had to settle out of court with the parents of a young underage girl and all this jazz via vomit inducing right and he, he was teaching in a school that i actually had students from i don't know if we overlapped during the time i had students over there or not but uh I know that scene, and that scene is posh, 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 right? Which is fine. N no, no problem with it, right? That's okay to be posh. It's all good as long as you're a good human being, right? But Trudeau is not. Trudeau and his clown gang, in collaboration with the NDP, because the NDP are also World Economic Forum clowns, right? They've joined forces together and they're representing the world economic forum they don't represent canada or canadians right it's the through the woke agenda they're going through through the climate agenda through the lgbtq agenda through the uh you know i'm offended agenda through the i'm a victim agenda through through that agenda through that lens that they're rolling out tyranny up the yin yang right including injections pandemic lockdowns destroying mom and pop businesses uh just an attack on canadians bringing emergency measures that the courts have now deemed to be fucking insane right like the wrong thing to do they're saying that they had no justification in doing it freezing people's bank account and stuff like this and what's going on right now is their agenda hasn't changed they're still continuing even though they're losing they're losing court cases even though their polls have plummeted right in the next elections which is going to happen in about a year and a half right but to 2025 really right uh they're going to get annihilated the liberals are going to get annihilated the ndp should also get annihilated the greens should also get annihilated if there was not the cult mentality in canada which believes that lens to be the absolute truth that there is and the lens being again the world economic wall lgbtq uh you know i'm offended um i'm a victim agenda right there's a there's a serious cult following in canada of that more so than most of the other western countries more so than most of the other western countries especially in western canada right so i'm living in a part of a part of canada where there's like 30 percent 35 percent that have that lens right pretty fucking scary right there there would be there would be they should be regarded as sort of brown shirts uh during historical times that those are the low iq red rats that a tyrannical regime uses to suppress the population right i don't think they're going to be able to do it but they are still trying to pass laws to do it one of the laws that they're recently trying to pass is that uh, sort of what george orwell talked about which is really thought crime right they want to pass a law where if they think that you're about to state anything that has hate associated with it or uh, <laughs> has anything historical associated with it that they disagree with or anything current associated with it that they disagree with or anything in the future that they disagree with 
they want to pass a law saying that they're allowed to have a select member committee look at what you might have said have said might say in the future look at you and say oh you're propagating hate and they can fine you tens of thousands of dollars or put you in jail for life literally as well as having anonymous people anonymous people sue you for damages that you might have caused based on your thoughts right so that's where Canada is right now that's where they're taking it right because they want to control everything this is in collaboration with the World Economic Forum United Nations is involved to a certain degree EU is involved uh, the the regime in the United States is involved so it's a sort of a collaborative movement from non-governmental non uh, people who haven't really been uh, uh, what do you call it? they're not civil servants that have been voted into office to represent the population of a nation they're working for the the agenda of a very select few people coming out of Europe that have a tyrannical agenda right that that's really what's going on in Canada what's happening in Canada is coming to all of Europe is going to come to the United States it's already in Australia it's already in New Zealand and they're going to try to roll it out wherever else they can right in Canada we're just ahead of the game a little bit right one of the reasons we're ahead of the game is because what I mentioned their poll numbers are fucking collapsing Canadian economy is <laughs> just down the toilet people are tapped out strapped out desperate right people have are carrying mortgages on houses that are underwater the mortgage rates being like around 10 percent people can barely make rent right we know people like this i'm going low-end cigars i was smoking what how long have been doing patio streams now cigar smoking cigars i was i was smoking <laughs> you know 40 dollars cigars on average right I'm down to $12 cigars. <laughs> Chicho that, right? So all you're doing, all Canadians are doing, the ones who are smart, they're realizing the hurricane that's coming and we're bunkering down that, right? So as, as the saying goes, it doesn't matter how much money you're making, right? In terms of having financial independence, what matters is how much money is going out, right? That, that applies to corporations, individuals, institutions, countries doesn't matter right it really doesn't make a difference how much money you're bringing in it's all about how much money is going out right so me knowing what's coming what's what's about to roll over Canada I've reduced what's going out while again what's coming in has been reduced because government mandates and dictates right as well as taxes going up so what's coming in is less so that's really what's going on in Canada keep an eye on Canada because what's happening in Canada is going to be they're trying to roll it out in the rest of the Western world we'll see where it goes I don't think they're gonna succeed but it's gonna be painful okay that in short is what's happening in Canada and there's a lot of Canadians that are resisting this but there's also like I said a lot of low IQ red rats that have a tyrannical agenda the most tyrannical being if you disagree with their agenda they call you fringe racist uh, uh, supremacist they, they'll, they'll call you everything under the Sun if you disagree with anything they have to say right be careful keep on keep an eye on Canada right interesting times interesting times